Hey y'all, hey Mama G's family, welcome back. Guess what we're having today? Fish and chips. I've been craving this, so I'm ready to do it. This is my quick, quick, super easy fish and chips. Um, fish are your choice. I actually have pollock and tilapia. I'm not a fan of tilapia. I'm not judging those who are. I'm making it because my husband likes it. So for him, tilapia, for me, pollock, you can do this with catfish, um, cod, any fish of your choice. It's a fish fry. So here we go. These are all the ingredients you need. Fish of your choice. Yellow cornmeal, yellow mustard, some seasoning salt, some black pepper, and some cooking oil. That's it. Easy peasy. Let's do it. All right, you guys. First of all, I'm going to make my breading. Very simple here. I got a bowl. I need two cups two cups, yellow cornmeal, it's really simple, two cups, yellow cornmeal, in the bowl, boom, just like that, pretty simple, right, you're going to need two tablespoons of seasoned salt, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop the top off of that so I can use my tablespoon measure, Level that out. One, two. Put that back on there. So I made the mistake of leaving that off once, and then the next time I used it, I was not paying attention. I had to throw the whole meal out. And then one tablespoon of black pepper. And I like pepper, so I went over a little bit. But that's pretty much it. And then mix it. Mix well, and there is my breading. Ta -da, ta -da. All right, so the next key is to dry, pat dry your fish. I've washed my fish and I pat it dry because the mustard won't stick to it. I'm gonna coat these in mustard and then dip them in my breading before I fry them. So, you have to dry them well. So I'm just going to start with these three pieces. Um, I think I'm going to cut that one because he is kind of big. I don't want him too big, too long for my fryer. You can cut them to size. I like to cut them this size because, for example, if I was going to do fish sandwiches or fish tacos, this would be the size I would want them about half of a filet. We're gonna do that on another day, those fish tacos, cause I'm telling you, they are the bomb. Okay, so I have my, and I just liberally coat it with mustard. Don't be stingy with the mustard. Mustard's cheap, y'all know. Mustard only about 99 cent a bottle. You sometimes find it on sale even cheaper. 79 cent with a coupon, right? So you want it well coated with the mustard and then into my breading mix. Make sure I got that one good and coated. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. I'm gonna toss it in here. You can do the paper bag method. That's my mama style. Where she used to put her, her breading in a paper bag and then shake it. She knew it was going down then, right? All right. So once I get this all breaded, we're going to switch over to the fryer. You can see how that'll look. Hold on. I'm going to show you how it looks nice and breaded. So you're going to shake your fillets off. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and breaded. Okay. Now I'm going to get ready to fry. 
All right, guys, I got my oil getting hot here. I'm gonna give it the test. Not quite, almost. Got that crackle, snap, crackle pop. I'm gonna keep doing my mustard right here. I think it's just about almost ready though, almost ready. I'm gonna also do a couple tilapia fillets so y'all can see what that looks like. Whew. Okay, let's see. It's sizzling. I like my grease popping hot though. Let's try one, let's try one. Oh, it might be, it might be, it might be. It might be, it might be, it might be. Um, you guys can, you know, all do your own method. I love to fry in cast iron. That's just to me, cast iron fries are better if you're gonna fry. And if you're gonna fry. I'm shaking the excess uh, cornmeal. I'm trying to at least get that excess cornmeal shaked off. a couple of the tilapia fillets. You can see the difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry about that, y'all. Yum, yum. Line up. All right. Let's turn it down just a bit. I'm going to make sure it gets nice and done. You know how it is when they start to float just right. And you know they're done. But I want them nice and golden. So I turn them down. So they can get that golden texture. Oh no, baby. No, baby, baby. There we go. I'm going to see a mat and give me some paper towel to for gravy. Absorb the grease. So while those are cooking, I'm gonna get me some more ready over here. My mustard bowl going. Pat these dry so that the mustard adheres well, and then the breading adheres well to the mustard, and you got it going on. Let's see, it's starting to float, and it's starting to get golden brown. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Good stuff. My second bath ready over here. By the time those are ready to come out. Into the
All right, so I think it's about done here. Let's check it out. Check, check, check it out. Oh my word. Y'all, ooh wee, ooh wee. Telling you, this is the business. You guys don't even know how good this smells. I'm telling you, this makes excellent, excellent fish tacos. Um, I know a lot of people like to do the tempura batter for fish tacos, but I don't know, it's just my preference. It's a little more crunchy, but I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys. Let y'all see that one one more time. You see that goodness, crispiness, smell of vision. <sighs> Delicious. You can't beat this fish sandwich right here. Serious, serious. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple more batches and I'll be right back, y'all. Yeah, I got a big family, so I got to do, what do you call it? Batch after batch after batch. I just had to show y'all the beauty of this piece of fish. The goldenness. Mm-mm-mm. All right, now get my chips to go with the fish. Fish and chips. Sprinkle these with a little Himalayan sea salt. I'm gonna plate all this up for y'all, nice and pretty, and we gonna taste, man. We gonna taste it. Ooh, I'm telling y'all, this is about to go down. Jolly and see. Last but not least, yum yum. All right, hey, Himalayan pink, pink Himalayan sea salt. Put those up with that. All 
All right. Y'all want to see what we working? Bam. Check that out. Now let me get y'all a better view. You side, you put your sides on here. I got me some tartar sauce, some lemon. Can't go without the red rooster. Some people like extra mustard, ketchup, whatever you're fancy, right? That's what you do. All right, y'all ready for this? Cause I know I am. Dip it in my tartar sauce. Mm mm mm. Oh my goodness. Y'all see that? Mm. That's some goodness right there, ma'am. It's delicious and nutritious. <laughs> anyway, you guys. I'm gonna give this a try. This is so good. Please try it. And then comment below in the comments and let me know what you think. All right, see you guys soon. Mm.